Good morning, people of Chatham. I'm signing on a minute early before my book talk to give people a minute to get signed on and to join us for our viewing. Um, I'm hoping that some of our boys and girls who are normal members of preschool story time are joining us and maybe have your snack there with you. Um, maybe you're thinking about um, the books you're reading um, and are getting ready to learn about some new books with our electronic collection that we have online. We have lots of resources for kids that you can still read the books. So if you're getting tired of the books that you have at home, um, there's a whole fresh selection of those books that you can access um, at our website. And you'll note the information that I have posted uh, along with this video tells you how to find those books, um, how to locate them, and how to enjoy them. So um, it is 10.15 now on Friday. I hope you've enjoyed this great weather that uh, we've been having and have been able to get outside. I've got daffodils blooming in my yard and the trees are starting to bud. Um, so I hope you've been able to find some wonderful things outside to enjoy as well. I'm going to go ahead, um, if you join us and uh, have somebody that you'd like me to say hi to on the computer when I'm finished with my book talk, just go ahead and put that in the comments and I'll do a shout out to them when, when I'm done. Um, so today I've chosen three books about families who fuss. Then they become friends again. And as I was thinking about my friends from preschool story time and what you might have going on right now, I thought maybe you'd be able to relate to these books since we're all having to spend a lot of extra time together with our grown-ups and our brothers and our sisters. And sometimes that's hard. Sometimes we fuss a little more than normal when that happens. The first two books are on something that we offer now called Tumble Books. And your grown-ups can see in the description, I'm not sure if it's going to be below or to the side, but they can find out how to locate Tumble Books on the Chatham Area Public Library's website. When you go to read these, um, grown-ups, these are like the old Reading Rainbow program on PBS where illustrators have taken the original art from the books and they make it move just a little bit um, to make this more fun and engaging for your child to watch. If you boys and girls are used to coming to the library and maybe reading on the computers, um, the tumble book stories are going to remind you a lot of those. So the first book I wanna talk about is called and you can come too. In this book, sisters Annie and Sarah start out their Saturday without fighting, not even once, and they're so proud of themselves. But then, as younger sister Annie is performing her important dance of the Bunny Queen, she accidentally knocks down sister Sarah's block tower of doom. When dad doesn't understand her anger, Sarah decides to run away from home. But surprisingly, she does say that Annie can come with her. What do you think dad will do next when he finds out his girls are leaving? You can always look up the book on Tumble Books and find out what happens next. On Tumble Books Math, would you believe that there are stories and not just math problems? When I saw Tumble Book Math, I thought it was just going to be a bunch of workbooks. But no, it's even more stories. In the picture book, Henry Keeps Score, Henry wants to make sure that his older sister Harriet never gets more of anything than he does. Sleeping late in bed, pancakes for breakfast, chores. It makes me wonder, what sorts of things do you keep count of with your brothers and sisters? The story made me really smile because it truly captures how siblings want parents to always be 
fair. Henry carefully keeps score, and then finally, he discovers that sometimes zero is better than one. I couldn't think of a time that zero was better than one until I read this book. The last book, Llama Llama Mad at Mama, can be checked out from library on the go. It is like reading any other Kindle or ebook. I'm going to bet that at least once you have been so tired of running errands that you did something that made your grown up angry. <coughs> Excuse me. Then the two of you had to work it out. That's the story of Llama Llama Mad at Mama. Llama Llama Saturday playtime is interrupted by having to go with his mama shopping. The sweet rhyming book captures the frustration kids feel when they're shopping with adults. Lines that are too long. Being forced to try on clothes and shoes that are just uh, uncomfortable. And waiting endlessly for a promised treat if they'll just be good. In this story, there's some crashing. There's some smashing. And definitely some llama drama. How do you work it out when you've done something that you're sorry for? Compare your situation with Llama Llamas in this book. Boys and girls, I hope you and your grown up will check out Tumble Books and Library on the Go soon. Good morning to Tatum. Hi, Tatum. I miss seeing you and doing crafts with you on Friday. I hope you're doing okay at your house and have done lots of creative things in your time at home with mom and your brothers and sisters. Um, hello to Lucy and Molly. I miss seeing you on Fridays too and hope you're doing well with your mom. Hi Jackson and your little sister. I'm sorry I don't remember her name this morning. And Ben and Asher and Aiden. Um, I hope all of you are doing well and are reading lots of great things at home and finding some fun things to do, even as it's kind of hard not to get to go do all the things we normally do. Um, next week, I'm going to be back 10, 15. Tell your friends if you've got friends that normally come to preschool story time at the library. I'm going to have three more suggestions from our electronic collection and our theme next week for Easter, I know this is a real stretch, will be excellent stories. Get it? Eggs, excellent stories in honor of Easter. So until then, I encourage you to keep on working to be friends with your family, even when it's hard, and definitely keep on reading. Bye-bye. Have a great week.